apology for me. Okay, this is not for everybody. When I speak, I speak for me. The way I understand it and the way I've read it. Okay, and I'm going to see if I can read it over here. Because everything I do and I add to this base, Chaldean numerology, meaning of personality and traits. But we don't only look at this. If we look a little bit deep down here, Chaldean numerology is considered the origin point in numerology and depends largely on the Vedic Indian numerology. In this part of numerology, there is a big concept that each thing is composed of vibration. So each particle vibrates at a different frequency. Also, as this majorly attracts its corresponding frequencies, therefore a vibration that matches and is compatible with each of its balance and attracts more balanced vibration. However, the unbalanced ones draw more unbalance and negative to ones. It's, I mean, I'm not sure if you can see it, but I'm reading it. And it doesn't only come from, from music. I mean, before I start, I'm going to just, for me, for me, right? It, it doesn't only come from music. It doesn't only, how can I get the stick out of the way? It doesn't only come from music. And I know that it doesn't look good in the background. And someone is telling me I'm not trying to sell this as, as God. And I'm not sure if you're joking with me in which way. Because there's many ways that I can see it all good. Because no matter what I hear, I'm always going to learn. Now, sometimes my video doesn't look pretty. So think that I'm on the radio and just listen to it in your ears. I don't know if it's done before. I don't know if you think I'm, ha I'm doing something that somebody else has done before, because obviously I'm not the only one. That's pretty simple. So what do I do? First, I like to work with quadro paper. I use designs that have already been made. A straight line, a square, a triangle, a cube pyramid. So I look at all the squares that have already been named and I use the names that were already been named. All I'm doing is taking out the numeric value from them. If every shape, a square is 81. A square, okay, is also created through Jupiter. A square is created from 13. Now, where would I get all these? Why would I say that? Man is number 1328, 41, home of the king. So I'm telling you, if you believe in numerology and you believe in all these systems, then here's a system that connects numbers, that gives more of an understanding in between the association of numbers by not a definition, but by the reality of the same number. Now, male and female fit together. Therefore, 69 fits to um, 41, creating one on one, adding up to a single digit in the 10 or the one position. Every dot that connects to another dot has a position that has a position. I can use how many quadrants do we want in the base quadrant of this planet? They're always talking 360 degrees for one time around. But in a day, there's four times 360 degrees, equaling to 1,440 degrees. And then there's six times that to equal to 8640 for the six days of creation for the 24 times, okay, for the 24 parts of 360 to equal into the day. Now, where did that come from? I'm going to show you this down here. Then I'm going to get to my design. There are uh, 360 degrees times 4 equals to the 1,440 minutes in a day. Right? Um, we were talking about 360, right? So 360, um, I'm just trying to see. Yes, this is time six. 
okay, equals to the 8640. What is this? Sorry, times six or 60 to the 86,400 seconds in a day. So that means there's six times four, 24 times 360. This is what I do. I bring numbers closer together. I don't have a name for it. And I also don't have a calculator, so I'm going to do this over here. 360 times 24 equals to 8640. The sun is also that number. And the average between 4 and 8 is 6. And that is the Pluto, the house planet, to the sixth birth of the ninth life. You see these, these numbers come together as 1. Right? And I'm not sure if I can do this properly. Let's see if I can do this here uh, and, and here, like that. So I do that, and then this one does that. And then inside is where the I and the H is over here. Uh, I just want to go off and show you something else. That here is the letter N. And then here is the letter N. So N plus N equals to 28, which is M plus M equals to 26. 2 times 8 equals to 16. 2 plus 8 equals to 10. So now the relationship here is one can slip into the other. I don't know if this is going to be a V, an I, or an ACE, a double ACE inside of this one showing you the split. Why a double ace inside of this one? Because of this line that went down. I turned it into an ace. Otherwise, I can also look at it as a right-handed and left-handed V. But I bring them together and I connect the both sides for an ace. We can just look at it that way. We don't have to. So let's, let's just keep that out. So now what we're going to do is we are going to create the Z. Right, let's create the, uh, the Z. So I'm going to create the Z here, right? And now I'm going to do uh, a Z over here. So I have Z and Z over here. And what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to go N and I'm going to go N again over here. N and N. And here I went N and Z. N and Z equals to 40. Here I went N and N. Here I went N and Z. Right? Oh, sorry. Let me go N and Z. N and Z. And then we have this. Right? Now what we're going to do is the question is we do we put the big Z inside of this or do we go Z, backwards Z, right, creating that arrow up. And then we can also go, if we want, complete this design. Uh, it doesn't have to be, it, it can be one piece at a time creating its own scenario. Uh, but I'm going to do the whole thing. Now what we're going to do is we're going to draw the N, right, and then we're going to draw the N. So now inside of this, now if I draw the proper, the proper, there's no proper, the other part of the reality, which is and then inside comes all these intricate realities where X and X have boxed in X and X. So what are these areas here? Two of them. Is it B? Two pyramids, one above the other. What's going on? And then we have these poles. Is this more connecting poles to continue um, the design? Or is it part of the Torah that we unravel the Torah? Notice I can also connect these at the belt line. So I'd have to make this a little bit larger to see what's going on. So we have these. So through um, what is Z, Z, N, N, uh, this is 52, like an Earth. This is 28, the cycle of Earth. 
This is Earth. Whoop, that says I. It's Earth. You can call it the Earth Dog or the Earth God. And then this is man. I don't have any other words right now, but it's also time heaven, where N and N comes together. The reverse of N and N is M and M, equals to the, here's the 14th, the 13th, the 26th, dividing the alphabet. This one will give you 26. M and N equals to 54, the sun. And then this one will be again, uh, number 13. Once you pass 169 moons, 13 moons a year for for 13 years, you arrive in this area. The opposite of that is going to be A and A. So that'll be 1 and that'll be 0, 2. So that'll be 54 and that'll be 54 inside its letter, reverse alphabet. Um, after that, it'll be 7, 1, 8, 2. 1, 2, 7, and 8 will come together in this connection that creates this design. If we multiply this and add it, we get 17. Multiply this and add it, we get 26. Multiply this and add it, we get 20. Multiply this and add it, we get 2. So we have 8, 8, 2, 2. That's what we have. So we have uh, 7 and 4. We have Jesus. We have time. We have the cross. We have 11, 11 creation. Adding these two will make 121, which is the E world. E I E I O. Oh, 1 times 2, 1 plus 2, 3 and 2, 5. 1 times 2, 1 plus 2, 3 and 2, 5. What's in the center? 4. And you multiply it, it's 2. It's the half life. So if we multiply this again, because it had two answers, where did it have the two answers? Well, they all had two answers, right? 1 times 2, 1 times 2. 2 times 1, uh, one, 1 times 2, or actually I can just add up these two and create 1 in the center. 1 times 2, 1 plus 2, 5. 1 times 2, 1 plus 2, 5. 1 times 2 is 5. 5 and 5 is 10. 1 plus 0. Would that be 1 in the center? Or would it be 1 times 2 is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that it could be 5. 6, 5, and then the reverse cube is that 1 and 6. Um, did we finish with this? So the total here is 10, 4 communication, and if you look at the reverse dice cube, right, 31 is that reverse. 31 would be that reverse. So this is what we did. We understand now what happens to that 24, okay? We're going to multiply it by 3 equaling to 72. And the reason for that is I'm going to multiply this by 3 equaling to 25,920, which is a part cycle of the long count of the Mayan calendar. Look up 25,920. There's 80 missing. The same way there's 8 missing um, for, our, um, for our vibration because there's a difference between 2, 4, 6, and 8 and 1, 3, 7, 9. And we're going to keep out the 5. This 5 is... Uh, just let's leave out the 5. And there's an association between 1, 4, 7 as there's an association between 2, 8, and 5. And then there's an association of 6, 3, and 9. Raphael, two areas, 6 and 9, coming together, creating the heavens. Bookends. Thank you for watching this video.